You're live. Hi. <laughs> How y'all doing? We're Lamina here with Wild Decor by Faye. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I, this project has been sitting on my desk for days. And I need to get it done. I've like been pushing it out of the way because I wanted to do it live. I um, painted a bunch of grapevines the other day. And um, so I painted this one white. And I had a couple of these signs. I had like three different ones. And I kept going back and forth and back and forth on which ones to make. So I chose this. I ended up choosing this one. But I had this Mary and Bright. I had these from last season. And I think I got them. From, yeah. Oh, I got them from Duane's. Hi, Melinda. How you doing? I had the Marion Bright as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I also had this Let It Snow. So I probably, what I think I'm going to do is paint two more of these and paint one like um, red and one this, this uh, like green and see how it turns out. But I just fell in love with this. Hi, Cheryl. <coughs> Oh, have mercy on, on, excuse me. I was just cleaning up because I made a um, swag last night and all the flocking is all over the place. So y'all, <laughs> as you can probably tell by on my desk, I couldn't decide what all to put in it. Because this, this sign is so pretty. Can you see it? It's so pretty. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I, I, mm. When I first started pulling out ingredients, I pulled out these. And then I just kind of, they look kind of blah. So I don't know if I'm going to use these. I think I want the frosted ones because I think I want this to look really frosty. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. Isn't it cute? I thought so too. So Steve is upstairs working. So if something goes wonky, watch out because I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Kathy. How you doing? Good to see you too. <laughs> I've been wanting and want, you know, y'all, you know me. I've been wanting to and wanting to and wanting to go live. And then one thing or another comes up and I just blow it off. So I've got to stop doing that. I really do. Um, I've got so much stuff. I'm trying to see the comments. I've got so much stuff to do before um, my last craft show of the season. And it's two days and it's a big one. This is like their 43rd year of doing it so it's really big and it's a juried so you know it's a good it's a good good show so um so those were those were two of the things i went to a local craft store here in virginia and um they had like a blowout sale way back and i i want to say july of this greenery and i fell in love with it and they only it was only like two dollars so i got a bunch of these and then I peeled off the sticker so I could find out um, where I can get more. And of course, the company went out of business. So I guess that's why they were having the sale. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to use these sparingly. But I just think they're so pretty. I think it'll look nice. I might just paint the other grapevines white too. I don't know. And then I wanted to... I only want to use one ribbon and a one and a half to um, just make it just light, you know, light and airy. So I chose, I have this one. I will cut it open so we can see. And I'm going to need you all to help me decide. Because I chose this one because I thought that would look really good with it. Can you see? I thought that would look really good. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Thanks for coming on, y'all. Please be sure to share and follow and like and all that stuff that I'm not supposed to say. Oh, and I got one of those little light-up signs, and guess where it's sitting? In my living room. Hi, Tom. How you doing? <laughs> Thanks so much, y'all. Please be sure to spread the word. My, my uh, page has been, like, stagnant, but that's my own fault. Um, just totally my own fault. This morning, y'all, <gasps> I went to that home store because they have those big fat candles that look like gingerbreads. So of course I couldn't find it at first. 
So I was looking around and the more I looked around, I'm like, oh, well, I don't think I'm going to find them. So I'll just get this and I'll just get this and I'll just get this. So I was loading up my cart and then I found them. And so then I had to go through my cart again and decide what I'm going to put back <laughs> because I was really, really not trying to spend more than a hundred dollars. Really hard. Cause I, I got an email y'all now the stuff that I started that I bought at market is finally starting to come in. I'm just like, uh Oh, I need to save some money. But, um, oh, I looked, I looked at this ribbon too. I thought it would be cute, but I don't know. So I can't decide. I can't decide. I found this today at the, at the at home store and it's 10 yards for only four bucks. And it feels pretty good. It's a pretty uh, stiff ribbon. So if you see me reaching over there, I'm just trying to, my uh, comments keep going away. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. Have fun at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I was supposed to go to Hobby Lobby too, but I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, you want to see the candles? Okay. Okay, let me grab them. Hold on. Okay, y'all, look, they had these, and they had silver ones, too. Silver, and this part was white. Aren't those cute? It has, like, flocking on it. And these color, it's got little um, candy canes, I don't know, candy, those candy swirls, the peppermints. That's what I want to say. Thank you for blessing my page. Thank you. Aren't those cute? So I got two of them. They're $30 a piece. Yeah, the, at the at-home store. Just keep looking because um, they had the silver ones up front. Um, up, you know, we're like by the polar bears and stuff. But this wasn't by the gingerbread stuff. This was um, where they keep all the, the boxed items on the side, you know, where um, like all the lights and stuff are. All the big boxed items. That's where, that's where I found mine, <clears throat> but they have them online too, but I, you, I couldn't, it wouldn't let me use the boss discount. So if you have the, you know, that boss discount or even the military discount, um, I'd go in and get them. So I also have this too, but I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of big for this. I don't know. I don't. No. See, this is what I've been going through, y'all. So I'm going to just put this to the side for a second. Yeah, so I'm getting more supplies in. I don't know when they're coming in, but they're on their way because I got sent the invoice. So I got charged. So I know they're on the way. So I'll be looking for some more stuff in my shop, too. And I figured, well, if uh, at worst, I'll have it for next year because who knows what the supplies next year are going to look, look like, you know. And these are from Michael's. I thought those were pretty, too. And I also have some cute, uh, some pretty frosty stuff from you know, the Dollar Tree. Had some nice greenery this year, y'all, and nice and frosty. The greenery was all I really liked there, but it's very, it's, you know, it's good filler, really good filler. So and I'm going to start cutting some of this up. I think I want to start with this in the background. And I love these, uh, I just love this frosted. And I had ordered some stuff from, I'd seen these really cool um, turquoise poinsettias. I mean, uh, are they poinsettias? No, the holly, the holly flowers with those big holly balls in it. I saw those at, um, at Dwayne's when I went to Carolina Pottery and they only had one. So I kept the tag and I looked it up online and I got through and everything and ordered them, right? So I was so excited. I ordered like 24 of them so I could sell y'all some because I can't find them anywhere. And so I'm waiting. They said I should have them within 10 days. And I'm waiting and waiting and 10 days goes by. So I finally, I call them and I'm like, well, what's up? And they're like, oh, they're out of stock. I'm like, for the season or do I just have to wait a little longer? They're like, oh, out of season. I'm like, y'all didn't call. 
nothing. So I was really bummed because I had all, I had a couple of, you know, good designs already in my head and going and gone and halfway sold out the door, right? You know, so, uh, no. So I'm going to start, I think I might split these up. I'm not sure. I want to decide. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm going to do the bow first. Okay. This is the sign, so y'all can see it really good, right? Okay. Now I'm one. Should I put this ribbon, or do we want to make it light and airy with this ribbon? I thought it was so pretty. I don't know. I'm not sure. So give me hearts, hearts if you like the snow flake one, the sheer one, sheer ribbon, or um, thumbs up if you like the whatever you want to call this I guess it's candy cane stripes I need some help y'all hearts hearts that's this one right yeah that's what I think too okay so we're gonna go ahead and make the um make the bow first okay I've got so much greenery here y'all but I just wanted to keep it nice and light and fluffy so you know me i've got to use my um easy bow maker has anybody bought the new easy bow maker i saw it online and i think it's like 35 dollars or something and y'all i got this like three years ago for five bucks so and i don't know how much different they can make this bow maker you know what i mean so i i'm i don't know if i should get a new one or not if it ain't broke don't fix it, right? So what are y'all doing today? I'm supposed to go up to Hayes, which is about an hour drive, and I sell at the um, farmer's market up there. Sorry, you're going to have a little bit of noise. Um, because they want some Thanksgiving wreaths, so I've been making some Thanksgiving wreaths. And um, it's hard to make Thanksgiving when you're in the Christmas mode. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to do these loops at five and a half inches. I don't want them too big. And I'm, I I want to do, I love doing the um, the blast off bows. If y'all ever watch Kali. I gotta, I keep, okay. Um, she teaches the blast off bow. It's a three, two, one where you have um, three loops on each side and then two loops and then one loop. And then so you get a nice, you get a good amount of tails in there and it looks so pretty. No, I've never used the Probo. Never, never, never. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I don't think I have the patience for it. It seems to take a while to get the bow made. Just because of all those pegs and everything. I don't know. But I can't say because I've never, ever tried it. I don't even own one. So I don't know. I mean, they, I, you know, they do make big, beautiful bows. And they're, like, perfect. They're kind of like a round, you know, a rounded bow. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I honestly don't know. They kind of... Um, intimidate me. I was looking for the word. I couldn't think of it. But see, we're just going to do three, three loops. I'm going to put the, put the loops where I want them. And I, you try to keep them fluffed up so they don't get that crease in there and go, end up going flat, you know? So, and these are, the loops are at five and a half inches. Okay. I wish my comments would stay on the screen. <laughs> it does. It really does. I mean, it might not be. I'm not sure, but it does look cumbersome. So that's the first. And now I'm going to go back with the same. And I usually make the tails the same length just because sometimes I roll them up, you know, like every other one or something. Now we're just going to do two loops and I make them just a smidge smaller, maybe a half inch. And I just eyeball it. So then we'll do two on each side. 
<clears throat> hey Lynn, how you doing? Do you have the day off today? We're just making a bow for the grapevine. I noticed I'm, I'm making a lot more. I haven't made me many mesh wreaths this season, but I plan on changing that in the next couple days. So maybe if it's not too too crazy around here in the next couple days, I'll go live again. I know I say that every time and then I don't because it's just, just crazy around here. And I'm not a night person by about seven o'clock or so. I'm in my jammas and ready to just big kick it. You know what I mean? I'm ready to watch everybody in school, watch all the youngins go live. <laughs> so I'm just putting all these where I'm going to want them to sit. I think this is looking so pretty. I used this ribbon a lot last year. This is a Hobby Lobby ribbon, so maybe I'll go back and find some more. Now we're just gonna do one loop on each side, and then that'll be the end of our blast off bow. This is like my favorite kind of bow, and I'm gonna make the loops just a little bit smaller. Not too much, because I still want them to be flowy. You know what I mean? So it's gorgeous out here today. We've been having some cold weather, and by cold I mean like in the 40s and 50s, which is cold for me because I'm a San Diego girl. But um, today it's all the way up to 71. I had my big coat with me and my Uggs on and with socks and everything. <laughs> and um, where did I put my pin? And I didn't even need to take my my uh, coat out of the car. I didn't need to because. It was nice, nice and nice and gorgeous outside. So after this live, I think we're going to go hit up Walmart and we got a couple of, um, you know, things to still do around the house. Got to still put up some pictures and curtains and all that stuff, you know, to make it feel more homey. I'm trying to decide where to put my Christmas tree this year. And usually when I go house hunting, that's like the first thing I decide. But with the we have a lot of windows in the living room. So it doesn't give you much wall space. So the way the furniture is placed, it doesn't give you a whole lot of, I don't have a lot of options for where to put the tree. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, you know. And then we have a big landing on the stairway. So I'm going to put, I have a flocked pink tree that I got at um, Big Lots last year and never used. So I'm going to put it on that landing and have, have a little candy tree up there. Because I still really don't even know what I want to do on our tree. Isn't that silly? But I'm not in the mood to, I, the last few years I've been doing red, white, and black and silver. But I I'm not in the mood for that this year. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for. <clears throat> I thank y'all so much for coming in and saying hi. <laughs> now this is that bind wire. And I use this um, on my bows when I, uh, when I work on a grapevine. Now this grapevine's painted white, but I'm still going to use it. <laughs> Usually you can't see it on your grapevine when it's natural. But I've been painting a lot of grapevines this year. Just to add some color, I painted one like an apple green. Well, it's called jungle green, but it, you know, it's that Grinch green color, you know. And uh, it turned out really cute. So now I'm trying to figure out. See, I do that. I don't, I just... Without thinking what I'm, you know, what the full project is going to be, I'll go ahead and do something and then have, hope the project pops into my mind. Hello, Faye. How are you? <laughs> do y'all do that too? I am. Um, yeah, I, because I'll think of a lot of ideas in my head and there'll be so many I don't know which to do. Look, look at that bow. Isn't that cute? That'll be a nice fluffy light bow to go on the... And then um, it totally changes anyway. So then I figure, hey, Rainy, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> I thank you all so much for coming in on your 
afternoon. I know y'all are busy. So that's why I started it. Well, part of it, you know, I put the sign on and stuff before I came on. So I hopefully won't last too long, but you know, once I get to chatting. So this one's a little longer than it is wide. So now I just got to decide where to put the bow. It's kind of big. It's kind of big, y'all. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Can y'all make a small bow? Because evidently I cannot. I don't know. Hmm. I think right there. I think right there. So right about here. We'll see, I don't want to put it around the end of it because then it tends to lay outside. So I'm gonna try. It's a kind of a loose grapevine. There we go. Oh, my tail's decided to go up here. There we go. Now I know I won't leave these too long because it's just too much for this little grapevine. This is only a 14 inch grapevine. But I thought these little signs would look good on there. So we've started, oh, I should get my signs too. We've started, I put it a little too high. We've started making um, Valentine's signs now too. I should, I forgot to bring them in the room, so I'll have to run out and get them to show. Well, I only made one new one, but I'm like renewing the ones I had from last year so that people can start seeing them again. So, cause you know, by December, we've got to start thinking Valentine's. Isn't that crazy? I'm running, I feel like I'm running so far behind this year with the move and everything, but it's all good. Cause you know, when you do local, I'm going to go ahead and dovetail these. And if I want to shorten them, I will. Um, which I probably will, because this is a tiny, tiny thing. But, um, someone local, they're still thinking about Thanksgiving. Well, I really didn't even think about Thanksgiving this year, but I know when I was in Aldi's the other, yesterday, people were buying turkeys like there was no tomorrow. And it looks like it's going to just be three of us, me, Steve, and my, my new friend who lives in our community, um, Gail, and her dog. So we thought, y'all ever go into Costco and see those big, huge um, chicken pot pies they have? Um, that's what we're going to do. And then when I was in Aldi's yesterday, I... Um, I might pull one of these up here and make it short. Um... They had this sweet potato casserole with um, praline pecan topping. So I bought some of that. And I thought that sounded really good. So we're just going to, I think I'm going to put a couple of these up here. Just so it's not so full of them. And make these kind of shorter. Yeah. Just to, because there's still four down here, so maybe I'll pull one of these up here and just cut it shorter. So I thought that sounded really yummy. Now Steve likes pecan pie. I like good old apple pie. Um, and Gail, she she doesn't care what kind of pie she she wants, so I don't know what kind of pie we'll have. Are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? I 
still haven't heard from Josh, so I don't know what he's going to do. But from what I understand, he's with friends, so, you know, just as, as long as he's happy, that's okay. I'm trying to be strong and a good mom. <laughs> and let my bird fly. Okay, so we kind of just, I want to make this a little shorter, I think. Kind of just uh, moved the tails all around, so it kind of looks like a big snowflake all by itself. I just don't want these too long. I want the... So, ooh, that looks pretty. There we go. How do you, what do you think? I think that looks good. And then you, you'll be able to see the greenery through. I'm trying to wait till the camera picks it up so I can see. Hello, Don. Thank you all so much. This one looks like it might need to get a little bit shorter. Just going to try a little bit shorter. Yeah. These scissors are fabulous, y'all. I got those at from Ferris Silk. They're fabulous. So, and this ribbon has a good wire in it. It likes to hold its shape, so that's good. Okay, so we're going to start putting the greenery in. It's funny reading the captions because you know they never, never get your words right. Oh, thanks, Dawn. <laughs> it's starting to fade. This pink fades really fast. But that's okay. I don't get a color again until December, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, I already cut some. So what, oh, here we go. So I wanted to start with this. I'm going to cut this in half. Maybe. Oh, it's a pushery, y'all. Oh, yay. Oh, cool. So I don't need to cut. See these little things you find out? I'm, I am going to cut this down, though. And I'm ho I was so nervous to make this because I have this vision in my head where it's just going to look. It reminds me of that movie, White Christmas. <laughs> I might use my glue gun because my glue pot... You know how when your glue sits in there a long time, it starts getting like yellow? I don't want anybody to see any yellow in here. So this is the look I'm going for. This, yeah, I it totally, it's going to remind me of white Christmas. There we go. I put it in it upside down. There we go. So now I won't see the spine. See, you got to watch that when you're, when you're doing this. Y'all ever watch Nick Kratikos? He makes, thank you so much, Don. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. He makes his wreath so doggone fast. I don't know how he does it. But, and they're always so gorgeous. And they look so nice and light and airy. And I love his wreaths. I think I'm going to do the glue gun. I had to get a new glue gun the other day. Y'all, I've been using my, my Walmart glue gun for a little over a year or so. And now all of a sudden it won't feed the glue. So I'm going to put this down here, I think, because it's got the pine cone in it. I almost caught a pineapple. And this one's kind of loose, so the grapevine is. So if I need to, I'll stick some, some uh, moss in there. But y'all, I, I definitely want to put some of this in here because it's just so sparkly and pretty. I'm wondering if I should stick some of this underneath. I'm going to cut off one piece and, talk, and see. <laughs> Y'all know me. Oh, poop. Y'all know me. Winging it. Winging it with Lily. That's okay. So, I have you seen the, um, the like, wreath kits that they have at the at-home store? With the elf, and there's one, a gnome that has buffalo plaid and stuff on so I got one of those gnomes with the buffalo plaid. I'm thinking about making him next. But I've bought so many um, elves from people like Derricka and um, Debbie Lang and all those people. So I need to definitely make some elves because otherwise they're just going to sit in my closet. But you know, you, you, I don't want to use them because I want to keep them. But... I guess that's what we're in it for is to, you know, sell them. So I'm going to cut this one in half, just like that. 
Y'all, I just drank an energy drink, so if I am kind of rambling on, that's it. That's why. <laughs> oh, and I had coffee too, so have mercy. I knew I had a lot to do today. So, oh. so I got, this is a Gorilla Glue gun, but it doesn't have an off on switch. So I have to unplug it every time, which I don't really like. I mean, oh, boo-hoo, what an inconvenience, right? Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just love sparkly. When I was in line at the at-home store today, this little girl was in the cart with him, you know, and the mom was with her, and um, she had glitter all over her face, and I was thinking to myself, uh-oh, a little crafter in, in practice. Or you know what I mean a future crafter <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do with this particular one is kind of go underneath the bow as a base I think this is a good base because it's nice and flat and I only want to use one in here because I don't have a whole lot I wish I would have bought the whole doggone Thing when I was at that store but my husband was with me so I didn't want to buy too much do y'all ever do that when your husband's with you <laughs> not buy too much even though they know what you buy because you come home with a huge bag but whatever so I'm cutting this one in half too and I think this smaller piece I'm gonna put you know over here under the side of the bow And then I had someone remind me of a um, project I think I did last Christmas with a Santa hat, you know, as a door hanger. And she had asked me, she was having problems hanging it without it falling forward. And then I remembered, I'm like, oh my gosh, I had that same problem. No matter how I put the, the hanger rope thingy on, it kept falling forward, falling forward. I mean, I, I, I don't think we ever figure it out. So last night I was sitting there watching YouTube trying to see any anyone making those and I fell asleep while I was waiting <laughs> to see a solution. So I guess I'm going to have to go back over it again unless any of y'all know what to do. So I have well, I have a couple more so that's good. I love this. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Mm. <laughs> I knew this was just, yeah, going to turn out nice and, nice and light and airy. And that's what I wanted. So I'm wondering if I should just paint the other two white as well. So maybe someone will like it so much and buy all three. You know what I mean? You just never know. Oh, poop. I'm going to have to put more glue on here. But like I said, this grapevine doesn't isn't really super thick. And I'm just going down, but I want it to kind of stick out sideways. So it'll go under this part of the bow. Hmm. That looks pretty. This is what we got going so far. Look, we could stop right there. <laughs> just put this in and that's it. But I want some berries in. So good choice on the on the ribbon, y'all. I think we picked a good ribbon. Yes. Robin's wreath wreath. Okay, Dawn, I will. Yeah, she's so good. Dawn, I mean, Robin is so she is very talented and very smart. She thinks of a lot and creative as all get out. She thinks of a lot of stuff. I could just message her and ask her, and she because um we used to do um Tag Team Tuesdays together, and uh, it was fun. So she's still good. Every time I message her, she'll message me back. But she's really good, and with her CNC and everything, she's gone. She's just rocketed. Yes. Okay. I think that looks so pretty. 
think it looks kind of naked here, but I don't know if I want to put more. I think I want to put one of these down here. Yeah. I'm just gonna, oh, poop, I put it in the wrong blue. I put it in the yellow blue. <laughs> <laughs> so is any are any of y'all oh my goodness are any of y'all doing um craft shows i'm just gonna go down here and give it a shot and if it doesn't stick then it wasn't meant to go in i only did three well i'm only doing three this year i did one back in the, uh, the beginning of September on the beach, but it, see, I put one piece down there just to, cause I like it a lot. Um, and I have one more over there just in case, but, um, it didn't turn out very well. It didn't go very well at all. It, um, I had Halloween out and I, I guess, I don't know if people, oh, this isn't a pressure. Maybe. If people weren't, uh, oh, that other one is, um, in the mood to shop or whatever, but they weren't buying wreaths. Not for many of us wreath makers, so I don't feel too bad. It wasn't just in my shop. And then I did one the day before Halloween, which was kind of weird because you could, Bring some Halloween, but not a whole lot, because some, you know, last minute people. November 20th. Oh, Dawn, I do too. The 20th and 21st. I think that's good, because it's right before Thanksgiving and well enough before Christmas. So people will be looking for both. You know what I mean? So I think that's a good, good date. But it seemed like all of the good ones that I usually go to are on that same day this year. Because I was like, oh, good, this one and this one and this one. And... They were all on the same date, so I had to choose which one to go to, so I did. And I figured I'd choose the two-day one. Give myself a better shot, you know what I mean? So this one's just going to be a, a mostly greenery. I didn't pull any flowers, y'all, so it's just going to be a greenery wreath. Who knows, I might end up pulling some flowers out. I don't know. But I figured those candles, did y'all see? For any of you that came in late, a guy went to the at-home store and got a couple, I got two of these candles. They had four left and I controlled myself and only got two. But they're, they're the, you know, the gingerbread kind of thing. So I figured I'd put one in a wreath and then make one like a centerpiece. And then hopefully someone will buy the set. Those were my thoughts. So these were at the at-home store. Are any of y'all making garlands or anything like that? <clears throat> I made a garland for Halloween. I haven't made one for fall yet. And I have a, a leaf uh, garland out in the garage that I could just, you know, whip up a... But half of my... <laughs> Half of my house is looking Christmassy, and half of my house is looking fall, Thanksgiving-y. Because we usually don't put up our tree till the day after. But, you know, being a new house and everything, I'm kind of anxious to, to put the tree up and have it up a little bit longer. Just because. Now I'm trying to fill this. There was one gap in here. Um, there we go. Um, under the bow and in towards the middle. So that's what I'm filling in right now. I hope you can see. I should put some of this down here. <clears throat> but I was, yeah, they had some silver ones too. Silver with the white um, wax dripping, with, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, this one is like in its 43rd uh, year. So, um, the traffic and it's really good and what I did was like the first year I started doing craft shows was right after I started making wreaths I'm just like oh let's just go do this because I'm I sometimes ignorance is bliss you know what I mean and so I'm like okay 
So I just hit up every craft show. I mean, every weekend we had a show to go to. And um, some of them were hit. And I recorded which ones were good and which ones were not worth repeating. So that's what we did. And so I've learned over the last couple of years which ones to go to. And what part of town, you know, to go to. Because some of them were not in the best parts of town. And... Um, little venues that, you know, wouldn't, you know, drive too much traffic. So I'm just going to try to fill some of this in since I put that other one down there so low already because <laughs> that's where I wanted to end it. So that's, you know, that's what I was thinking. I just wing it, y'all. I just wing it. I mean, I'm in, in all these classes to take, you know, to learn all this stuff and I watch and I watch. <clears throat> And a lot of it sinks in, but some of it just kind of knocks at the door and then goes on. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, and I just end up winging it, I think, or just sticking in my head. I, re I don't realize it. I don't know. This is the kind of stuff I think when I'm sitting here working, y'all. So do y'all watch um, Yellowstone? I've heard everybody that watches it is like so excited because it's back on again. I think I watched one episode of it. <clears throat> um, and then they wanted me to pay for the, for the whatever that it's on. See y'all, I don't know this technical terms. So <clears throat> I didn't really get into it. <clears throat> I think I'm going to cut up some of this because it's, but it looks a little... We'll try. What the heck? Um, but I didn't really get into it. Do any of y'all watch it? They they did a lot of animal killing, so I didn't like it. I'm really, uh, <laughs> I'm really, I can't watch animals get hurt. It really upsets me. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I want to watch this show, but I've heard it's so good. I mean, it must be if so many people love it. See, I want this to kind of stick out a little farther. That's my that's my one issue is, is letting it be more 3D and not laying it flat. That's my thing. So I gotta place something so they're sticking up. So that's what I'm that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm gonna cut these off. I can always add those later or put them in another design. And I cut at an angle so that it goes in easier and I don't have to use a um the pick machine, especially since this grapevine doesn't have, you know, isn't very thick. So I'm, there's a big old gaping hole right here. So I'm going to fill this in and see what it looks like. Stand back and look. So y'all, I have a YouTube channel as well. So if you could check it out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. That one seems to be growing a little more these days, which I'm very blessed. Oh, that looks good. See, I like some of that berry in there and then it covered up the side of the grapevine. And then I also have an Etsy shop and I make, we make signs and we sell ribbon and uh, I make some embellishments that we sell as well. And I sell greenery and um, not too much greenery right now. Just because I've been waiting for my stuff to come in from market and it's finally getting in here. So, like I said, let's make this stand up a little bit. There we go. But I like the way this is turning out. Nice and light and airy. <clears throat> I keep wanting to go for my glue pot, but that glue's a little discolored. I'm just trying to fill in any, any openings I see. You know what I noticed when I was shopping today? I'm like, I don't have any wreaths that just have a good old classic Santa Claus in it. So I was looking for a classic Santa Claus, but all the Santa Clauses seem to be
the like buffalo check or blue. I just want like a regular good old 1960s Santa Claus. You know what I mean? I'm into the to the vintage, retro, whatever you want to call it. So this is looking really pretty. I guess I'm going for a shimmery. I'm going to cut this piece off. Okay. A shimmery uh, grapevine. Hmm. I'll just do that. Do y'all like glitter or no? Some people don't like glitter. I've been trying to do a little more of the of the uh, natural sort of rustic. So I did a, a swag last night with the more rustic natural look with no glitter and you know, and it turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. So then I bought another one of the bases at, at home store today. They have a nice little, not too long of a base, which is really, I, I like because it's easier for shipping too. But um, at the at home store, it was only $10, y'all. And it had like a big rustic bell in there already, you know, and some berries and stuff. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I bought another one today while I was there. I'm just cutting this. Damn. These are really good nippers. They're craftsmen, y'all. They're really good. I think I want to break this up anyway. Okay. So I'm breaking it up right here, if y'all can see. I like glitter, too. I, everywhere. Glitter, 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 glitter. Even my friend's dog. <laughs> my friend's dog is covered in glitter now. He probably poops glitter. <laughs> What dog shouldn't poop glitter though, right? And he's a show he's a retired show dog, so why not? He like placed second in that Westminster dog show. Thank you, Don. Yeah, I love I just love the vintage. I don't know if it's just because I'm vintage or whatever, but which I still can't get over. <laughs> I don't feel vintage, but yeah, apparently I am. I was watching some show last night and they, and they said, yeah, you sound like a, they were talking to their kids and they said, yeah, you sound like a broken record. They're all like, what's a record? <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is what we've got going. Look y'all. What are you thinking? You think it looks pretty? I'm liking the way it's turning out. It's turning out. I think I might want to shorten this tail a little bit. Let me know. What do you think I should do? Should I put um, some, maybe some, I have some, ooh, you know what I have? I have some, um, I'm thinking, see my mind is going, wee, wee. I have some little bitty red and green ornaments right over there. Uh. Thanks, Kara. I like it too. I think it's turning, but I don't know if I want to put anything, you know what I mean? Artificial. Hold on. Let me be right back. Hold on. Oh my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. So I've got, I've got some of these, which go perfectly with the sign. That I could put in there or I've got some balls I don't know if I want to put balls in because that would you know go good with the Christmas tree so let me take some of these out and we'll see maybe maybe I don't know how people rip these things open at the stores you know what I mean you see them with the lids all ripped apart So what I'm going to have to do is rip this puppy apart. I just don't have the patience for it. And of course, I'm on the opposite side of the ball. I'm trying to get out. <laughs> but I'm wondering if I should just put these frosty berries in there. 
Ja. Mm. Try the frosted berries, these. That's what I was thinking. And just keep it natural, huh? Because what do you think about these? I'm not going to glue it in, but I thought maybe here or there. Just to go with the Christmas tree. See, like, you know, just here and there. Because they have the frosted white ones, too. I wish they had the frosted green ones, but the red and the white are the only ones that are frosted. And I thought maybe just, you know, scattered a little bit here and there. Like that. What do you think about the balls? Do they look too big? Here, I'll cut off one of these stems and see and see, 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 see. We'll cut this about here. Let's see. Because then that's going to be all by itself. So silly. Okay. What'd you say, Tom? No, I don't know if I saw it. Oh, well, let me know. Are you and Brian Perkin going to do a live together? Um, um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think he's really busy right now. So this is what it would look like with um, the berries in there. Let me see. I'll put it down here. I need to put something right here because that looks kind of naked. Hold on. Hold on. Why you like it when we do uh, <laughs> lives together? See, this one's really long. I wish it could, you know, twirl around the finger thing, but it's super stiff, so it won't. I'm wondering... Okay. I'm getting squirrel. I'm going to cut off a piece of this just to put it down here and see. Well, maybe. Oh, what the heck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what my world is like. I don't know if that's going to look good. Because it's just the one piece. No, I don't like it. Okay. So I'm going to see if I, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to find this. I'm going to use in something else. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. See, so these are the ones from the Dollar Tree. And I think they look pretty darn good, don't you? And I can fill that in down here at the bottom because it looks more like the... <laughs> Tom. I know, we had fun. <laughs> these aren't pushers, though, either. But they're Dollar Tree, and they're really, really good fillers. Never say never. That's all I can say, Tom. <laughs> never say never. So I'm going to take a couple of these. See, they're kind of sparse once you cut them apart, but they really work nicely. I put them in a couple of things, and I'm really pleased with them. You know, I don't use it a whole lot, but... For fillers, I like them. And it matches what I got going on, so. I need to fill in this little space down here. Because it just looks kind of naked. I, I want some to flow, so that's what I'll do with these. See, some of them are kind of weakened, so I'll cut that off. And maybe just stuff that in somewhere where it has some backup, you know? Just lay it in between a thicker area. So it has some support. Yeah, 
nice. Those look nice. Those look nice. And then maybe I could put a berry right in here. Or a ball. Which one do y'all think would look better? Just add a couple, a few balls in there or the berries. Let me know what y'all think. See, I add, that's where I put some of the berries, but then you can see where I put some balls. So I could stick another berry up here in this little naked spot like that. And that adds a little dimension and kind of like twiggy step to it, you know? I think this is turning out really cute. So what should I do? What should I do? I see it. When I hold it up, I see a naked spot that I want to fill in. So I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. Yeah, I need to start going live more because I don't have very many, <laughs> very many people watching. <laughs> well, that's my own fault. Yeah, there we go. See this? It matches so good. And it just fills it in and doesn't cost you a whole lot doing it because, you know, those people at the shows sticking with the berries. Okay. Okay. And I'll take the balls out and I'll just add berries. Since, yeah, it's, I was just thinking, you know, with the Christmas tree. That it had the balls in it. I think I've got to cut this stem down a little bit more. So are y'all tired of Christmas? Are you still, I don't think I could ever get tired of making Christmas, especially with all the different colors they use in Christmas, you know, decor right now. You don't have to stick with the traditional, but it seems like I always do. I just love me some traditional. See how that added towards the bottom there? It just kind of went, filled it in. I think it turned out good to me. I think it turned out good. I want to put another one right there so it'll stick out a little more on top. I might even grab another couple of bushes. And then I'll take, the, remember where I put those berries, hopefully. <laughs> yes, I like those. I like, yes, because it's like a soft sparkle. It's not like a big fat hardcore and big glittery sparkle it goes good with the sign and the and the ribbon and everything and I like the way this sticks up so I might have to add something to the bow but I'm liking the way this is looking I need something right here sticking out right here right here I have to use this See if I can glue that, make it a little sturdier. Or just go grab another one. Because you know I'll end up gluing my finger. So y'all, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Would you like to see a sign that I that we made? I've got some really cute, I only brought two out, so. <laughs> no big deal. Um, but I did, we, we started making some new thing, uh, Valentine's, I was going to say Thanksgiving, Valentine's wreath, but look how cute is this. This one's an eight inch round, but it also will come in a 12 inch round as well. And they are in the shop already. So if you're looking for th for Valentine's, yeah, Thanksgiving, um, already, isn't that stinking cute? I think it turned out so cute. We, you know, mm, yeah, I like it. And it's got the little argyle on the hearts, too. So if you have that um, Valentine's argyle ribbon, that'll go perfect. I gotta figure out where I can put it. And then we did, we did an yet another Christmas. 
I can't stop making Christmas signs though, y'all. But this is a gnome one. Bake, bake, baking with my gnomies. How cute is that? I think that one turned out fabulous. So I have a couple of um, gingerbreads that I haven't used yet. So I want to, uh, I figured, well, that's what I do is I make the signs that I like that I want to use in a wreath. And, I'm, and then I go, well, we can sell them too. <laughs> but I thought that was really cute. So if you're still looking for some uh, Christmas signs, we try to get our signs out ASAP, y'all. I try to get them out as fast as possible because I know we all want to get our stuff. It's been, uh, thank you. Thanks, Kara. Um, or is it Cara? Um, I know everybody's been having to wait for their supplies this year. I'm going to go under here just so that there's stuff down here too. I know there was a berry that I put down here. Did I? Okay. I knew I'd put some down there. But I think I'll cut up some of the that berry bush, thick stem, whatever you want to call it, and put some more of those in because those those good choice, good choice. Whoever told me to do the berries, I think it's a very good choice. The frosted berries and these branches are beautiful, and they're frosted all the way down, so it's really pretty. So this one I can put down here at the bottom. Put down here but I really really I know I say it every time but I'm really gonna try to start going live more often y'all because um I like when I go live with you and then I I finish my project because I can step away and not come back for a couple days and not have an issue with it which is not good <laughs> especially so close to the show time you know what I mean so I have one sticking up here I think I'm gonna cut this I'm hoping this isn't too wobbly, but we will find out. I'll put this in down here so it's coming out of this end. There's some glue strings down there. And I'll kind of stick it underneath the pine cone so it might give it a little more strength because that stem is kind of uh, wobbly, you know. Oh, that looks good. I think that looks pretty. Especially when you stand it up. I'm going to stick one up over here. Y'all, that's my problem is I never know when to stop. I'm like, oh, but that's so pretty. I want to use more. So pretty. So pretty, so pretty. Now I need some red over here and a little more green because that I still have a gaping hole. See right here, behind the bow right there? I want to cut this down too. Tuck this in. I have the, that bind wire sticking straight up. So I think that I need to get another piece of the, um, of my Dollar Tree filler. Have you ever sprayed the glitter bits with hairspray? You know what? I haven't, which is so silly because I make those, um, Lollipops, you know, with the glitter on it, and that's how I attach the glitter to it. I put, spray some on, then do the glitter, and then spray some on again. So that's a good idea. That's a good, good idea. I should have done it before I put it in the... Probably done it before I put it in the wreath, though. But hold on. Yeah, I bought a ton of these, y'all. I really did. Every time I go, I buy a few more if I can find them just because I think they're really pretty. There's one in here that's really nice and fat that will fill that space really good. I wish this was a pusher, but I guess for a dollar, you can't be too picky. So let's try this one. I guess it's not any different than the other one, but I'm going to put this right up here because it needs something. Something sticking out right here. And I might put another one in. 
right below it just to fill it in really good because you want the bow to be part of the design not just a you know afterthought sort of thing which is silly because it's put in there first but and then I'm kind of bending it so it sticks out there we go okay now I need one right here <laughs> that's what happened <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I wish the comments would really stay up there <laughs> it does and it, you know what and that I use the Aquanet <laughs> it's been a hundred years since I bought Aquanet but and it it really smells good now it doesn't smell nasty like it used to in the 80s <laughs> but it brought back a lot of memories I'll tell you See, it's making this look like a bigger grapevine than it was, you know, than it was because it, it's only a 14 inch, but it's looking pretty big. But now I just, the more big I make it in one spot, I gotta, I gotta even it out. <laughs> so pretty soon this side's gonna be pretty gargantuan. There we go. There we go. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look. Y'all, what do you think? Show me some love if you like it. <laughs> I think it's turning out pretty. Can you see it? Do I, have you seen it good? I try, I'm trying to look in the, in the tablet to see if y'all can see it well. But I wish you could see it in person. It looks so pretty. I think it needs a couple of little more berries. Oh, I have this. Where am I gonna do this? Because I think I see a naked spot. Thank you. Thanks, Kara. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stick this right in there because every time I hold it up, I see this little naked spot and it drives me crazy. There we go. But these berries are fabulous. I love these twigs. These are from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna cut this one down here. And I'll cut this one right here. There we go. So I think maybe up here this needs I just don't want it to be all funky. No, I think I'm gonna do the short one right in here. Like right in there. Try to find a little spot, there we go, in the grapevine that'll hold on to it. There we go. This part looks so nice and full. I gotta get this, I'm not gonna leave one little do job in there. Almost finished, y'all. Almost finished. I won't hope this guy stays. I need something right up here. I'd love to be able to do a, on my easel, but I can't stand that long. I have neuropathy in my feet so it makes it a little hard to stand in one spot for very long and um but i would love to be able to do it on a okay i need something right here red i would love to be able to do it on on my easel because I, you know, I bought the easel and i haven't used it very much but when i'm working you know by myself and i tend to do it sometimes Cause then I can stand up and sit down, you know, however often I need to. But just trying to get this in there. You can tell it's starting to get full, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if that's the I don't think that's the spot I want. I'm gonna cut some of this off. 
That was not the spot I was looking for. So I gotta put it in a little higher without getting burned. That's where I was thinking I want it. There we go. Ooh, like it, like it, like it. It's not too much red. I need a red over here. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna cut this jobby down and I think we might be calling it a day. So I appreciate y'all <laughs> staying and watching. I really do. Hello, Peggy Forbes from Jacksonville, Florida. I need something right here because it's looking left out with the red, as far as the red goes. But look, oh, I think that turned out so pretty. I might put a couple of little sprays in the bow, but as far as I can see right now, I like it just like this. What do y'all think? Show me some love. I think it turned out pretty. Yeah, I think this is the thought that I had in my head. Now see, I see a spot right there. See the spot? I'm waiting to see on the camera. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I'm waiting to see where my finger shows. Oh, there we go. <laughs> see, if I look on my phone. Okay, what do you think? I think I need something right there. Hmm. Because it looks like a little, it might just, I might just need to move some stuff around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> there we go. I think we're finished, y'all. Well, I thank y'all so much for coming in. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I, I promise, I promise, I really want to try and start going, doing some more lives. I got a lot of stuff to make before the show. So I want this to be like the grand finale of my little season here. Um, I hope you all have a blessed, blessed day and I'll see you next time. Okay. Thanks so much. Now I got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Bye.